Race number five at Ascot on Wednesday will jump at 3.45. It's the Sterling Handicap over 1,200 metres. It's for three-year-olds without a Metro win in the last 12 months. One of those is Reykjavik. Let's have a look at his trial at Lark Hill on the 23rd of April. Middle and back to the inside model Dragon. Leader rolled off Reykjavik. The run came for Awaken and it takes the lead. Rocketing down the outside is bounced down. So they're at either ends of the course. On the inside Awaken being joined on the outside again by Reykjavik. Now peaking on the run down the outside. Bounced down. Awaken takes the lead and Awaken... Reykjavik trialled really well behind a really smart four-year-old mare in Awaken. He looks primed for his first up assignment here for his relatively new trainer, Lindsay Smith. Lindsay picked up the horse from Paula Wake following last year's WA Guineas and the horse placed in each of his two subsequent runs, including the Lestia Classic. Taylor Stone takes the ride here, expecting him to be pretty close to the speed with the blinkers on for the first time with WA's champion apprentice in waiting in the saddle. Number five, Driftwood Girl. She ran a good speed figure first up behind Shania Style two weeks ago, going back up the inside under Daniel Stack. She now gets the assistance of WA's informed jockey, Mr. Chris Parnham. Number one, Ken Two. He was sound in a recent trial. It isn't the strongest three or a race, certainly depth wise. He's certainly a place chance here. And number eight, Enactment. She broke her maiden last start. That was at Narogen. And you've got the likes here of Reykjavik and Driftwood Girl, who've got very solid city form. My on top selection in race number five, one of the better bets of the day, number two, Reykjavik, to beat five Driftwood Girl, one Ken Two, eight Enactment. Race number six at Ascot on Wednesday will jump at 4.20. It's the Western Race Picks Handicap over 1,200 metres. It's a class three, 56 plus affair. The replay horse can look at the horror watch for punters, but with Pearls and Prawns finishing third at Ascot on the 14th of April. And also, Rock on Tommy looking to get into the clear, but in love with Paris, surges to the front at the 200 metre mark, and in love with Paris, it kicked away from Tango Aura. Three secrets, Rock on Tommy's gone. It's in love with Paris, running away from them, and she'll go on and record another win in love with Paris. Beat yeah, it was a tough watch, that race for Pearls and Prawns back as she registered the fastest last 200 metre sectional time in spite of suffering lacerations and being totally unsuited by the slow early tempo of the strong contest. They ran a reasonable overall time, but they walked in the first half of the race and that simply didn't suit this filly. She goes on top here. She's got enormous amount of potential. She won her first three races. I think she'll get the winning habit back here. The danger for mine is number three, Keeper's Tail. She made it three th wins from 11 starts when taking out a similar contest over 1,300 metres 13 days ago. Fourth up she is, she was very unlucky fresh, then she was second in a high rating race next up and triumphant last start beating Sir Snuggle Life. Also go back to the trial form, she picked Miss Leckie that's won a black type race uh, since then. So really good form for Keeper's Tail and the obvious danger. Number five, Hordora has not won for nearly a year and she's winless in 10 goes at Ascot. But she does map as the leader here and gets in with just 54 kilos because of Brody Kirby's claim. And then number one, Scandal Maker. He was backed up his recent trial success with victory in a proper race when he took out a lower grade event 10 days ago. And uh, that was despite being uh, blocked for a run in the straight and also drifting rather markedly in the betting. Mine top selection in race number six, going with number four, Pearls and Prawns, to beat three Keeper's Tail, five Haldora, one Scandal Maker. Race number seven at Ascot on Wednesday will jump at five o'clock. It's the PSC Insurance Brokers Handicap over 2,200 metres. It's a class one affair, 52 plus. The replay horse going to go two starts back to Palace Road beating Montagna at Bunbury. And Oakhurst, Rebel in the straight and across the sea, led them at the 250 challenge though by Palace Rogue, a length away to Montagna who keeps coming, Mitch draws the whip now at the 150 Palace Rogue, Montagna across the sea battling further back, Luna Rossa but Palace Rogue kicks, it's Palace Rogue holding Montagna and goes to the line Palace Rogue about three quarters to a length in front of Montagna. Well in the replay race Palace Rogue got the better of Montagna that was over 1690 metres last month and for mine he looked the strongest stayer of the two in the final stages of that race. His pedigree is that of a stayer. His siblings include the Perth Cup winner 
in Lord Ransom. And he was also third in a small field over 1,600 metres at Ascot last week. I don't mind the quick back up here, and I certainly don't mind over 2,200 metres. I think this is a tricky race, and Bullen willing to go with number two, Palace Rogue. Number one, Montagna, he broke through at the seventh time of asking last time out, when after going down to Palace Rogue in the replay race, he won a maiden here at Ascot by three and a half lengths. Not sure that race was particularly strong, however. Same can be said for number four, Break the Chain. He won over Wednesday's course in distance two weeks ago when he came from last to prevail at pretty big odds. Not sure about the depth of that contest. And number three, Blue Tracer. He was the beaten favourite behind uh, Break the Chain. Somehow ended wide from, from gate two. William Pike takes over from Peter Nucky. The knock on this horse is he's still a maiden after 19 starts. By on top selection in race number seven, we'll go with number two, Palace Road, to beat number one, Montagna, four, Break the Chain, and three, Blue Tracer. It's now time to nominate my best bets on the card at Ascot on Wednesday. Gonna go in race number three, number 10, Shira Khan, to win her first race in WA. And then in race number five, number two, Reykjavik, to win for Taylor Stone, the champion apprentice in waiting. It's easy to stay up to date with everything that's happening at Perth Racing. You can log on to our website or you can follow us on one of our social media channels. Until next time, bye for now.